abortion on the ballot this election. While abortion rights measures passed in several states, including red states, it wasn't a success everywhere. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp has more tonight. On Tuesday, voters in 10 states were asked if they should expand abortion access or lift abortion bans. In seven of the states, including predominantly Republican-led states like Missouri, the measures prevailed. But in other states like South Dakota, Florida, and Nebraska, restrictions or a full ban will remain in place. When the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, many states voted to enshrine abortion rights, including in Republican-led states like Ohio and Kansas. But this November's election broke this ballot's measure's winning streak. Well, we had seen, particularly in Kansas, that some of these red states had passed pretty overwhelmingly some of these ballot issues. But remember, that was only when that was the key issue on the ballot. There were so much other things to vote on this time around. Uh, Senate races, some gubernatorial races, and of course, the presidential race. And so people weren't just keyed into this one issue. There was so much more that they could vote on. Political scientists say Democrats believe they could use the abortion issue to get out the vote and help with their party's candidates in this election. Well, the Democrats thought that this was the Republicans' kryptonite, and they still think that they have some uh, motivation there for some of their young base. So I think they're still going to use it. I just think that uh, once they do all the soul searching after this election, they know not to put all their eggs in that basket. President-elect Donald Trump recently said he would leave abortion up to the states. But abortion rights organizations are preparing for additional federal level fights once he's back in office. Political scientists believe the Democrats will continue campaigning on abortion and could try for additional measures in the midterm elections. It's often said that when you can't get what you want at the federal level, you go to the state level to try to do it. In Washington, D.C., Rachel Knapp, Erie News Now.